Guys, listen, I am fully like back in Planet Zoo mode right now. It was just weird. I, I was kind of like Bluefin uh, and Jonah had mentioned it kind of on stream a little bit when we were talking about Remnant working on Sienna and, you know, kind of passing Sienna on to a bunch of really awesome content creators here lately. And I think it was Bluefin was like, why don't you go ahead and just start another zoo kind of while you're waiting on people to work on Suyana and I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. I'm not really inspired for, uh, I'm not really inspired for any Planet Zoo, like, mischief right now. It's just nothing's hitting me. Like, I, like I, Drew's even was doing, like, little, has been doing little one-off habitat builds. I haven't even really felt like doing that. Um, I have just not been in a Planet Zoo mood lately. Well, a couple nights ago, um, Jonah had messaged me uh, actually was in the comments um, on a live stream and said, hey, do you think you can come check out my zoo um, when you get a chance, maybe at the end of the stream? It's heavily Pine Creek inspired. And I'm like, sure, we'll, we'll jump in there and take a look at that at the end. And so that's what we did. We were kind of waiting on my billboard download to finish. And I'm like, let's just jump over into his zoo. Well, something about that zoo, like the little bit of the start that he had on that, like, it just hit me all of a sudden. It's just crazy how sometimes Planet Zoo does that. Like, in a, in a moment, it just struck me, and I'm like, I need to build a zoo. This, this is happening. Like, I, I was really, really, truly that inspired by particularly the, the scale of um, his habitats. Uh, not being these massive, large-scale Suyana, um, you know, uh, animal kingdom type grandeur. Um, I just think that maybe the thought of that um, kind of pushed me towards doing this. Like, let's keep it, let's keep it intimate. Let's keep it um, budget focused, but not like, you know, the, what I was telling people is I think the best way you can describe, um, uh, Lost Creek is like a hybrid of Pine Creek and Suyana. Like, look at this as like a sister park to Pine Creek with a little bit different management style, maybe a, maybe a different creative director, um, you know, essentially uh, maybe a little more budget than Pine Creek had, but we'll say Pine Creek was older than Lost Creek. Um, so maybe this is like a, a once Pine Creek really took off um, and was able to like self-sustain it, uh, you know, self become self-sustaining. Maybe the owners decided to go back to the bank, maybe with another plan, and um, and that's where you got Lost Creek. And a little, that's that's a good way I would explain it. Um, take Lost Creek as a little more ambitious than um, than Pine Creek, but with the same intention in mind of not being like an overly overly topped fantasy themed type zoo but um still has that little bit of like you know like I, what you guys say the ad, like a little bit of s dan flair onto it a little bit of fantasy um you know a little bit of budget pushing um but at the same time trying to tap back into that um that kind of like realism aspect of of pine creek that we had going on in like i was telling drew and savannah this i am just like th the most interesting thing about this is I'm having fun again. It's like it's not forced. It's not you know a contrived type build. It is just uh, it's just like me having fun again with the game and running with a theme. And it's just uh, it's been a fun little process. I didn't stream any of it yet. I'm, I'm, I'm you know I'm pretty sure we'll stream it. Um, I'm not even really like, I think I'm going to do it like this, like do a little bit of time lapse each of these episodes, but then I'm going to kind of turn all that off and just jump in and build and we'll do it like um, Doofus Mass Bandit style where I build a little bit um, off camera and then like here in a minute or so we'll jump into the real time and let you guys see because I, uh, I, I kind of just got, I got a little carried away um, yesterday evening after um, Kind of after I uh, after I got home from work, I just kind of started on some enclosures. I started on like the uh, the, uh, the giant river otter enclosure that is uh, sponsored by Cali, uh, one of our buddies here on the channel. She wanted a, a, a uh, an exhibit, uh, you know, kind of 
um, sponsored by her, so we got that in there. We just got to come up with her some kind of sign. Um, but yeah, really, really just absolutely having fun. I'm, uh, I will say I'm not taking any guest builders on this because I know a lot of you are probably thinking like, oh my God, I want to get in here and build an enclosure. Definitely not doing that. The only guest builder that I've agreed to have was Jonah just because his zoo inspired Lost Creek. There would be no Lost Creek if I wouldn't have been able to jump in and actually um, zoom around and his zoo a little bit. So I did tell him um, he could do a clouded leopard, um, like a, a clouded leopard exhibit for me. So uh, I'm not sure when that'll come, but this will be a mixture of implied exhibits, real exhibits, um, you know, theming. Um, we, we'll eventually get to the backstage. I'll show you in a minute. I left enough room here to uh, make sure we had a good parking lot or we, we can eventually have a good parking lot um, entrance area. So I kind of backed this off a pretty good bit. Um, we're just going to have all kinds of little like sneaking, like little hidden pathways and stuff, I was thinking. Um, and then, of course, we do have to find a place for the actual creek, which will probably start here soon because you don't want to get developing too much into the zoo and not actually have the creek ready to go. Um, and the, the creek's going to be a small creek. I would say maybe even a little smaller than Pine Creek was. Um, but yeah, we will definitely get that in there. And um, like I said, I, I don't really know where we're going to go with this. I'm just kind of rolling freely with it. It's like I have a ton of ideas, but like some of them have to wait until like maybe more of the zoo gets developed. It's I'm in one of those patterns right now where I have so many ideas, but they kind of have to wait for other ideas to get finished. And that is what is so fun about Lost Creek. I'm really kind of steeped in it again, but let's jump at it this real quick and I'll take you into the real time. I changed up a bunch of this and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this new project. All right guys, here we are. Our, this is our first official look at Lost Creek. So it ended up being a little different from when, like as far as the time lapse goes, but you know, I think that's always the case for me. I always kind of go back and look and see what I think I could make look better or you know, that just kind of, that typically happens. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to jump in and let's just kind of get a good look at this entrance way. This is kind of like a little sketch I did um, a couple days ago. And this is the little entrance way. We've got the little sunken, uh, the sunken hippos kind of in the ground. I think the little kids would, you know, climb on and you could take pictures on and stuff like that. Um, of course, we've got the Lost Creek lettering. I had actually Lost Creek Zoo up here, but it almost looks better if it's just like, just Lost Creek with with the zoo part here. It was almost too much. It was like this little gap of roof right here looks better than kind of the actual zoo part. I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll put that up in another episode and kind of see what you guys think if it looks better with the actual zoo. Um, also, have to give another shout out to Jonas for pointing me in the right direction to um, Haribo's uh, rock pieces here. Like, see that stack almost like stacked river rock I've used that uh, Haribo made that for us. That's actually on uh, the workshop right now. And I just think that came out really, really killer. That's gonna have a heavy presence in the zoo. It's almost like creek stone, stacked river rock. Just really, really awesome. And also too, uh, Jonas helped me out with a bunch of signage. Um, really, really cool. He even made me this ticket sign right here. Uh, so we've got the adults, children, seniors, college student with uh, with an ID, and all of them have the little Lost Creek branding. That really, really makes it cool. Um, I found this like from the St. Louis Zoo's website, I believe, just spring, spring, spend spring break at the zoo. Um, just it's so cool because you know you have to figure if we didn't have billboards now that would be a blank wall or there would be a window there or something. This absolutely wouldn't be here. And just look at the, just the extra little pop that this gives. So we've got the big Wumba tree, kind of majestic, kind of standing over the left side of the entrance. And then as you come in, we've got like a little video board here. Got Mr. Domez's kind of like little pamphlets. I don't remember who did these little barrels, but I got them off the workshop too. Um, this is something that Drew does a lot. You see how I have this little fountain here? I thought this would be cool, like um, 
Drew's really good about thinking about situations that may have happened. Um, and like, say right here, they had to break up the concrete to maybe get to some of the plumbing that is attached to the uh, fountain. And so I figured that would be just like a cool little, you know, where they've, where they've essentially re-poured little pieces of concrete there because at one time or another, um, it had to be broken up and maybe they had like some fencing up right here and everyone kind of had to go off that way. So I thought that was cool too. And then you get to our first little exhibit and this is our giant anteater exhibit and they've actually already, <laughs> they've already had a little baby here. So they're in there just kind of, just kind of relaxing over here in the shade. So th this is kind of what I'm talking about, guys. Not big, hyper, like massive. Even this is a little bigger than what I was thinking I'm probably gonna, gonna do going through here, but just something like this, you know, just a little bit of, um, little bit of space, but not so massive like, you know, um, giant enclosure, animal kingdom type deal. Just keep it a little more kind of like subtle, you know? That little railing back there. And look, Jonas also made me custom billboards with the Lost Creek logo. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, the main part about your main little planter here is definitely um, just to, uh, you know, get some shade in here. Really, you can imagine just really, really hot burning up. Um, so you can get in here. We've got some benches you can sit down. Um, when you come in, of course, this is the little uh, back off back office area to get into the uh, to get into the ticket booth. And then I figured this is like one of my little makeshift gates to the back, like to some back area that we'll eventually have. Um, then, as far as the exhibit sponsored by Cali, this is going to be the uh, the Cali Giant uh, Giant River Otter Lagoon. So I figured this would be a uh, this would be like a cool little area that the keepers actually go up and they could do like um, obviously they can't do it in game but they could do like a keeper talk from up here and throw little fish and stuff down in the water for the otters and just you know if if the crowd is up here against the glass listening you know that could uh, that could bring a lot of attention as far as the uh, as far as the giant river otters go and yeah they've already actually had some little babies as well <laughs> little babies. So that is really, really cool. I don't know if I have it worked out deep enough. I might have to do a little bit of work to, to get them to actually swim. But um, yeah, so this is our second. These are these guys actually went in second into uh, into Lost Creek, and I've got some little some of the little bronze statues up here. And uh, yeah, just kind of like fully open little glass so people could walk by and. Um, you know, walk by and check out the otters. Now, I know Drew is probably like gonna hammer me as far as guest flow goes. He's gonna say, do you know how many people are gonna get jammed up right here because people are gonna be standing here wanting to watch the otters and then you've got these big boulders and this big planter with a fountain. Like this is a, this is an, a fight waiting to happen with people trying to get through. But ah, uh, you know, we'll just, it'll be okay. Maybe, maybe more of them will go around this way if this part looks crowded, but you know, we'll see. There's, you know, there's not going to be tons and tons of people in here. Um, yeah, then when you make your way back through here, um, I wanted to incorporate the Adventure Club again. So we've got the little, uh, we've got the little umbrella and the little Adventure Club sign-up station. Uh, I have a little planter right here that I kind of want to incorporate as well. Um, I've got the mixing and matching of pathways like you see a lot in zoos. Um, you know, a lot of the times there's there's different little um, offshoots and different different types of path and and rock work. So that's kind of what I made happen with this. Um, and again, maybe some more underground work right here. And then of course you've got the guest services building where you can get do your um, your ECV rentals, your wheelchairs, your uh, your little kids carts, um, little baby strollers, stuff like that. Um, you can get all of that here at guest services and of course uh, merchandise and just come in and ask general questions and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, Jonas has also made me another really cool like rustic type of Lost Creek sign. And I just thought that fit perfect above the, above the, uh, the guest services building. So then of course you see we'll have uh, essentially two offshoots. So you know you you can come right kind of like the backstage area of the giant anteaters, kind of go off that way, 
and then kind of what we decide to do next kind of will shoot off that way. But yeah, guys, this is the start of Lost Creek. I, I really thought you guys would enjoy me kind of coming in and starting a new zoo, and I kind of got just blasted with uh, with inspiration there all of a sudden the other night. Um, just, just like I said, just playing around on that live stream. So uh, I hope you guys will enjoy this. I hope you'll come back and check it out and see how it evolves. I was thinking, isn't it going to be so weird like this is all we have right now? Like this little dot. And just imagine, like we have no plans. But imagine like when the zoo's eventually out to this tree or over here. Or like it just, you know, it takes up this whole area. Just think of like what is going to come of this. I'm just having a blast. I am fully just back into Planet Zoo, just realistic theming, just realistic mode. I'm, I'm really back like catching my, uh, catching my, my Pine Creek kind of feelings right now. And just really, like I said, just having fun again. This is, uh, this is going to be an interesting project. I, 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 even I, you know, even me being the creator, I can't wait to see what in, you know, what ends up happening, what we end up stacking up, what animals end up coming to, to Lost Creek. I just think it's cool. I'm just, like I said, it's just a fun little project, especially now with billboards and the, uh, and, and the watercolor, the water changing. So, but anyways, guys, yeah, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you end up enjoying this video and uh, comment down below and let me know if you want to see this continued and that'll let me know to keep getting some of these episodes together as we keep moving forward. So now we've got a uh, we've got episode one in the books. So we'll have to see if uh, see if we make it to an episode two or if I just keep this to myself and maybe just maybe just build this for fun. But uh, anyways, guys, yeah, I'll go ahead and jump on out of here. I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next video. See you.